Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Ears to the East, where we're talking about the spinniest of spins. Spin with us, people. It's Gatherick time. Did I pronounce that correct? Um, that was the cheesiest intro I could do. Um, I worked on it. I'm not even sure what spin with me means, but Gatherick spin. Is it, it's it's, it's Gat, Gatcherick spin, like Gatchapon machine, isn't it? That That's the real thing, right? Uh, I don't know. Like I'm, not, I'm probably the worst person for that, to be Thanks. honest. Like, 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 no, 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 it doesn't matter how many times I say it, people will, in the comments will already say that my pronunciation for most yeah. of these bands are, is pretty yeah. fucking shocking. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I'm like the worst person. The funny person. thing is, is, I mean, in all fairness, just if you look at the way Japanese is constructed, it should be Gatcharic spin, mm. and you think it's apparently to do with Gatcha machines. Um, but I just, for me, like Gatcherick spin feels like such a mouthful, and Gacherick spin feels so easy to say that I think mm. I've just kind of created my own name, and I've been hiding behind ignorance. But the more people keep on going, Howard, that's not the way you pronounce it. I'm so, I don't know what you're talking about. It's easier this way. Don't yeah. sound. <laughs> Gacherick spin is how I've always said it, but again, like, good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's. Let's stay calm in our ignorance. We don't know any better. No one ever said anything to us. It's time to talk about Gacker Spin, people. Um, because me and Neon both had a bit of fun. Uh, if you've been following our channels, which you should do, I'll, I'll save the adverts for later. Um, but we both took part in that really, really cool um, Kachi Kachi Yama reaction video. Thing. I don't even do reaction videos anymore, but I actually came back to do a reaction video. Back out of reaction right, retirement. <laughs> Yeah, as you so well said about me, we both took the piss out of each other in our videos as well. But the funny thing is, I'll say this before we get into talking about the whole Kachi Kachi Yama thing. Um, I went into it, and one of the things I was thinking was at least because there's two reasons why I stopped doing reactions. One was I just didn't really enjoy the format; it didn't suit me. I wanted to go over to and reviews, and the other reason as well was just because of the fact that I actually approve of the idea of. Um, uh, uh record companies claiming copyright on these videos just because i've worked with record companies and copyright before i i actually approve of it i think it's a it's, i think it's okay i just don't approve of blocking and uh more, more over strikes i think that's ridiculous um so strikes being where they try and like actually it's like the equivalent of taking legal action through youtube against yeah. your channel when you get free of them it closes your channel down um and blocking as well as say your video can't be seen but copyright claim is just where they say, hey, if any adverts appear on this video where you react to our song, we take it. Anyway, um, so the point is, is that when I was uh, doing a reaction to this new song, I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting because it's like, you know, they're asking for reactions. It's basically it's going to be a freebie. And the minute I posted it, it's like copyright claim. I was like, ah, got your spin. I see what this is really about. <laughs> yeah. You're going to get a lot of advertising revenue from a lot of YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was kind of, I, I must admit, I was a bit, thinking the same thing on that one i i saw that was claimed straight away and i was like you cheeky bastards a little bit i was like how could you challenge people to react fully know well that you're going to claim it a lot that, yeah. again i i i'm all for the cold hard business of music mm. and actually mm. in in all fairness at first i was like cheeky buggers but at the same time i was like do you know what if it was me i would have done the same <laughs> thing and you know i'm in my video i actually joked like if this is just a ploy for you to get all the reactors into one place and murder them in one go then touche but in actuality <laughs> yeah yeah strikes them, and a lot of public strikes yeah, they got publicity and the company got paid that's yeah that's, that's good business in my opinion um all right so anyway we both reacted to a Kachi Kachi Yama um as you said I, i'm sure you know if you clicked in this video already gacker Spin put out a uh, a request for reactors to react to kachi kachi yama first of all what do you think of that concept what do you think of the concept of getting reactors to react um, um i've i just thought i've seen it before but i just really like the whole way they went about it yeah I, the, there's so many ways that we can this is actually a good topic to what we're about to go into segue into we are, with the second topic topic we're about to talk to about but i like it when bands come out and do that like to be honest with you youtube should be recognized because it's a, a massive platform that gets viewed by millions of people every freaking second um by asking these channels to come out and say hey we're going to react to this you know this you've got you know you're instantly you're instantly setting up that video to be seen by millions across various channels instantly and i guarantee you're endearing yourself to people by coming to them through the, the platform that they use you know like meeting yeah. them on their turf uh yeah i i i feel like more companies should do that more and maybe this is a good 
a step in the right direction, specifically for Japanese labels, I think, because mm. they've mm. always probably been the, the sternest of the lot um, compared to probably every, everybody else um, in the world. So maybe this is a good sign for them to kind of go, all right, well, why, why, why shouldn't we? I mean, look at, look at, I don't, I don't think Baby Melm, for instance, or even Love Bites or anything like that would be anywhere near as popular. Even Bandmade would be anywhere near as popular if it wasn't for the gazillion billion reaction videos yeah. that are all over the channel that, you know, that is all over YouTube. This is a big thing. And um, I mean, this is what I, even when I was doing like the reaction videos a few years ago, this mm -hmm. is the thing that I keep on coming back to. You know, like I said, I've worked with the copyright side of things and I do get it. And I'm totally, I, I don't, I, I'm not a big fan of those YouTubers. I mean, if everyone's got their own opinion, but I'm not a big fan of those YouTubers. Like, oh, they're taking my advertising money. It's like, yeah, they are because you're reacting to their product. You know, it's like find another way um, of getting your money, um, like Patreon or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so I'm all for, the, for that like copyright claiming thing uh however i've got a bit of hair in my mouth sorry uh, so the funny thing is is that it is true and i've seen people say different things about this i don't think it's such a monolithic fact that all of the japanese music industry is out of date it was but it's certainly progressing a lot um but it is true when you think about it the um look at love bites i mean they've been massively boosted by the internet and then adding a family a youtuber what a great idea um baby metal I, I never got copyright strikes when i did baby metal but i heard a lot of people did which actually apparently was a negative and again you see baby metal there generally when people look at their commercial side although it is quite good on a lot of levels people have objected about certain ways that their commercial machine works it is interesting how tied in we as an audience are not just to the artists but how their whole commercial mechanism works and i think that's because nowadays we don't just buy the record we 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 connect to artists through this like online medium through reactions um again ningenis ningenis were relatively popular in japan in their own way and then they kind of like their fame had gone down and then they've been like from i think they premiered on a tv show or something and then suddenly they became an international thing um uh, you know just through youtube reactions to one yeah. song from heartless scat um and it is and they have just embraced youtube and a band who in all fairness as much as i love them probably wouldn't be considered as anything too world changing just were riding off a sea of love but yeah. then you look at um artists like scandal who are just like timeless they are a timeless japanese like staple you know they are just hit makers brilliant and they have had in my opinion, I've been over this before, they have had the single worst online presence of any band I can think of. Like, you know, they're just like, they've been dealing with companies like Sony and Victor. These are companies who are really outdated, who copyright strike anything. Um, you know, their whole online presence has been ridiculous. And the only reason Scandal have been doing so well is because of the fact that their scandal, which means their quality has superseded, mm. you know, the, the bullshit. And of course, they were around before most of these platforms really became what they are now, like the hub of music. So it's really, I mean, like you say, I think the whole way we connect. So basically, I mean, here's actually, uh, sorry, I've been talking a bit. I'm just going to quickly segue to this one set of. I, I'm really intrigued because obviously I won't get around to the Gakuk Spinner thing again, but I'm interested what bands in your opinion do you think have had the best online presence? Because I'm I'm thinking like bands like Band Made, obviously since Frill. I love that Pony Canyon have allowed them to really be themselves online. Um yeah, but, you I, know, you have Band Made, Ningenis. I I, th I think Pony Canyon's been really, really good. I, I I I can't say that I've ever really had any issues with Band Made, so I can't comment. I've heard some horror stories from like previous Band Made label though, so um of people getting blocked and the videos taken down and stuff but i oh. i i've been quite you know touch wood i've been quite fortunate not to bump into anybody mm. uh, then you've got obviously again sorry but you've got the band obviously like bands like the band that shall not be named that is now infamous on youtube but for all the wrong reasons <laughs> you know yeah, uh, yeah um and that is all because the label i don't know if it's obviously we, we can debate whether or not it's the well, actual my band copyright maybe. strike didn't come from their label it came from them directly mm, yeah the band who shall not be named the band yeah. that should not be named so that's that's just, that's just that's yeah. just that's just a dick move just in general <laughs> uh but yeah yeah I, I i've never understood why labels block something i like i've never understood why they block it and i've never understood why they strike because at the end of the day whether or not that video does well or it doesn't do well the video if you claim it and it gets 
200,000 views or something like that. That's money in their back pocket because I don't get that. Yeah, it's revenue source. It, it, it's it, free it, money. It, it's revenue source. I can only stipulate or, or um, ponder that the reason why they do it is is to they don't watch the videos and they just do it so to make sure that there's no bad mm. videos, no bad reviews of a certain artist. It's, it's that they don't understand it. Because I mean, let's face it. Let's let's be completely honest here. I mean, the reason why I do this channel with you is because I know that you're not like this. But let's be honest. Ninety nine percent of reactors, they're going to do a video where they say it's great, or at least they're going to say it's really good. No one really posts reaction videos where they say this sucks because they know that they're not they're going to lose subscribers. People are only everyone's trying to please their audience. So as a general, you don't see reactions where people say things are bad. So for me, it just shows that the the when they copyright strike or when they do this, it means they don't fucking understand. And they should have they should be up to date enough to have research teams in this record company who go, this is free money, this is free goodwill. Mm. I was like, we can claim. And we get publicity yeah. free of charge. This is like a win-win for them. And I think any record company who decides to block or copyright strike is living in some kind of vacuum where they're disconnected from reality. Yeah, I mean, I mean, go touch it back on Baby Metal. What I've noticed recently, and 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 a, and a load of other channels actually, is I've got videos that are like two, three years old on Baby Metal that have like again like a quarter of a million views, and they'll just randomly no, I rub it in bitch <laughs> they'll just they'll just randomly block those videos like i've gone back in my be like oh how's this video doing it was doing so well before and then i'll just go back and they're like it's they blocked it so they i haven't been hit with strikes but i have been noticing that they've been going through my backlog and blocking a lot of my backlog for some strange reason and i don't quite understand well, the reason into that one I can only imagine I, because I, it's their older songs and older stuff, and they probably want people to focus on the newer stuff. I, I apart from that only reason, I can't think of anything else why they would do that. I, I think there's two reasons actually, and I've spoken to this uh, about this to people mm. as well before because some people don't understand how this copyright thing works. Um, like I, one thing, I mean, I'm not saying I understand everything, but there's some things that seem to be rather obvious that people miss. Um, and like one of the things I hear a lot is people say stuff like, oh, so to avoid copyright, I put like a filter on the video or I slightly you know, change the speed of the audio. And I keep on saying that's actually not the fix that you really want to go for. And the reason being is because a lot of the time uh, what you get when you first do a, get a copyright strike or something is just like the automatic system recognizes it and flags it. But they'll still have people trawling through the Internet. So it might be that you posted it. It didn't get flagged by the system and then just someone from a music or something was trawling the internet found your video and then they said oh we gotta we gotta block this one this is a copyright violation so you know people will find it eventually and if they're the sort of record company who like to strike you then yeah you'll get their nasty so i always yeah. say this if anyone's out there who's doing reactions or if you're doing any youtube content where you're worried about copyright mm. I, I wouldn't suggest the filter approach yeah. either the algorithm will get better and work out you're doing it or the record company will eventually, or the TV company will eventually just find it through doing searches. Yeah. You, know, you, know, yeah. you know what, another thing that reminds me as we're, as we're talking about strikes and stuff like that and really, really mm. fucking annoys me is there, in the legal terms for YouTube, there is supposed to be... Things that annoy Neon. Yeah, things that annoy Neon. In the legal terms of uh, YouTube, like if uh, before a strike, there's an option, there's an obligated option for them to ask you personally to remove the video. Like, you're supposed to have, yeah. like, a couple of days for them to do that. Like, they're supposed to message you and go, hey, look, can you take this video they down? Don't. But they don't. They, don't. they, they go straight for the strikes. Um, straight away. There's no warning. And I, I've never understood that as well. The only person who's ever done that to me, um, which was amazing, was, was Fanny. Again. Uh, and she reached yeah. out personally to me and was like, hey, um, you know, there was this this thing in your video and it was just because the it, she released a video a couple of a couple of um years ago a really really great bass cover i think it was alien the song I, I may be wrong there um and i did a reaction to it and it blew up and davy 504 if i'm just, oh, I, I yeah just picked up on it as well i was going to say this is the one that davy 504 talked about wasn't yeah it? yeah and he did a reaction and he said in his uh, well he said in his video that she it was faking it that she'd missed some notes um well i i mean I, i'll give a little bit of credit first of all that i mean this was a while ago but my what i remember is that i think 
I believe that he actually approached the whole thing by saying it appears that she dubbed this over later. Mm. And I think his kind of feeling was that um, I can't tell if this is real because I don't know if you actually played it and obviously did it in his usual comedy style. But I think he actually said, oh, I think she can do this. But something on I think she can do this. But this video doesn't prove she can do it. Yeah. And that sent that a way. ton of hate. <laughs> like, literally, this guy has millions of subscribers. But I don't think yeah. he, I don't think he quite thought about like the ramifications of what he was saying so that and it sent a flood of people to family's videos and and not very nice people all davy fans going it's fake she's fake it's horrible uh, and i did another reaction um to davy's video i uh, i think it was I'm just saying like reaction and going oh but she can do it no actually no i actually I, I take it back i did another reaction to her re-release of the song that she did so she did she did she admitted that she dubbed it over then that's because she used to dance to her to her bass yeah. so she used to try and play but she also used to move around now like I, I don't know about you but if you're playing an instrument sometimes if you're playing something really complex unfortunately none of us are fucking miyako and midori and we need to fucking stay still and concentrate on what we're fucking playing to be able to even get like a quarter of that good you know that technique um a t well a tenth of that technique a hot a thousand for that technique anyway i'm trying enough but yeah like you know to make the video entertaining that's what you that's what you do you know like you to put the dance moves in when you do it so she released she released a second video yeah. but just basically playing the song in one go full like non-edited standing there playing the song thing and she asked me to take down the original video which was doing really fucking well um for me and she just said hey um can you take that down because obviously i don't want any more conflict with with davy and and the fans and stuff like that she said she wanted to focus on positivity instead of the um obviously the comments keep on coming in for the negativity uh and i thought she was amazing and I, yeah and i took it i took it down um straight away since she asked but um i it was just I that, think that there kindness is a, that kindness i think there that. is a point to be said though that while we're talking about the um, positive influence of youtube i mean the irony is is again i i, I think everything was done with the, the best possible intentions it's mm -hmm. just people on the internet can be animals sometimes um the funny thing is is that as negative as that experience might have been if you think about it, that negative experience i'm I, I don't know the entire story but i'm sure it also brought her a flood for the temporary flood of hate it probably brought her a flood of uh, exposure to new fans and then ultimately that would have um, helped her get into love bites i'm not saying completely but i'm sure that you know as we said before when we were talking about love bites previously having a certain degree of profile being able to bring that to the band would have helped as well so that support would have probably helped her get into love bites mm. to a certain degree and then on top of that, obviously, because I think, as I said before, I think that Fami is a perfect addition to Love Bites. It's helped Love Bites be better as well. So the irony is, is that even a negative review, and it wasn't negative, but, you know, even yeah. a review which is pointing out something um, against her performance has ultimately led to her getting, probably helped her get a dream job, helped make a band that we already love really excel you know giving them something fantastic it's just been good news all around because that's what happens on the internet you get a bunch of twats but ultimately it is still the forum yeah. where the right people will find you if you get the right exposure yeah so, i mean uh, props off to in um, that situation both Fami and davy as well because they were both amazing i think they both handled it very very well it, sh it just seems surreal to me like i can't even imagine being in that position where you've yeah. got like a million subscribers and then something you say can be taken the wrong way and then to put so much hate on another person i would never wish that in a, in a million years and i know david david's probably yeah. not that personality that would ever do that intentionally either but it just does make you stop and think sometimes and go you know with our platform um it can be you know you, sometimes you can do things you don't, you don't quite you've got to think about things now you know and the internet is a cruel place well, as well i've got a friend who's a, a movie reviewer and he was um yeah, you know, it's kind of small scale, but he had like a yeah. had similar number to you, like had sort of like 15, 20,000 subs. And um, he did a review where he gave a negative review towards a very popular film. I'm not going to publicize it just because he, I know, well, you'll understand why in a minute. And then a, another, a much more famous channel that reviews, reviews, oh, no. um, picked up on him and they spent just hours going through just murdering his uh, whole thing and it ended up with him getting hatred from fanboys he got death threats death threats about his kid 
over a movie review. Um, he got death threats about his kids and stuff. Uh, and he reached out to the person who did the review of his review. And apparently the guy was like just really lovely. And he was like, we, 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 we just kind of did this because this is what we do. We didn't really think about it having this effect mm. um and they had a really long chat about it and everything and apparently the guy was really nice to him so it is interesting like you say that power can have very real world effects that we don't think about on uh the youtubers and this is why youtube community is very important this is why and the youtubers is not like we're a separate bar we have the community with our own followers so that's really important but this brings us full circle to the whole gacker spin thing um i said gacker and that, to me i feel like this is like gacker spin are uh, again they're acknowledging that, that a lot of those barriers kind of go away i mean you still know they're the artist we're like the reviewers and then we have our audience who are the community but it's not like there's strict barriers so much for that becomes those communication yeah and the same way that we're very much in line on your know, on discord chatting to our communities it's nice to see bands like gacker spin just going look it's all going to go out to the community anyway so let's be part of the community too yeah um it's, i feel like it's progressive they, i think it's long overdue to be honest they came from Victor, apparently. Now, I read this in my comments. Apparently, they were on Victor before, who, like I say, are stuck in the fucking 1920s or some shit. And, you know, they copyright strike everything. Apparently, this is, like, their first release after coming out of Victor, which tells you a lot about those kind of companies. Mm. They're free. And now, the first thing they do, reach out to the community, which just shows you. Sometimes these artists, they're restrained by the record companies. Yeah. Not all of them. Yeah. But some of them. Um, but, yeah, so... Um, Let's just quickly say, I mean, I, we've already done our reviews, but Kachi Kachi Yama, that song oh, has been catchy, catchy, oh. catchy, caught in my head. It I was, fucking yeah. love that song, man. It was so good. So good. Uh, yeah, to, to be honest, and I said. video as well. Yeah, I said, I said at the beginning of mine, I said, it feels really weird kind of doing like a reaction when like, so, like knowing that I'm going to do something for a video. I tried to be so unbiased and I'm so fucking glad. I just love the song generally because it would have been fucking awkward if I hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no I, it was it was an absolutely great song pretty pretty video as well the quality of that video i gotta say was just entertaining as hell as much as the song was um they just let the band be the band they mm. dressed them up in like big bright pretty colors i let them be themselves let them kick ass in their own kind of way and i was like i liked that there was no sort of obnoxious attitude or anything it was just fun it yeah was just fun it wasn't trying to be anything other than just really good fun yeah it, um it, it, it was I, I i feel that's probably the best version of guitar spin that we've probably ever had in, for me anyway yeah i mean i wouldn't claim to be like a, a detailed expert of their entire history but to me from the things i've heard i think i've heard at least all their singles and uh, i've listened through to three of the albums in total um i really don't know how many they got in total but i've listened to three of them um and you know i've always been honest there's like one that i really don't like the one of their uh, albums that was actually not that long ago which i just thought was just a bit of a mess um uh but as a general they got like two older albums that i really like but then i just heard this and i was like that that's it that's that's what i want that's what i want from these guys um and you know it really just felt like that's it gold dash i really did I, a lot of people like gold dash i really didn't like that album i just mm. felt felt messy and this was like suddenly it's like bam we've taken all that energy and it's now it's clicked and i was like yeah um so for me i i just feel like and again it's that whole thing they just it feels like the the song the video it felt like it was designed for fans it's like they're going to be crazy they're going to do an experiment on the music but they still want to give you a catchy chorus so that you can sing along you know it's not just all about look how clever we are it's about you enjoy <laughs> singing along as well yeah we're going to blow your mind and then you're going to sing along it's the video the video is not about look at our high concept nothing wrong with high concept but not in a song like this this is just we're colorful we're fun it's not about look how crazy we are it's about look how much fun we're having and yeah yeah i just it was it was it was made for the fans it felt like that and yeah, yeah I, I don't think they felt their personality yeah, I don't think they could have picked a better song on it, like I said, in a better video. It really showcased uh, their uh, no. their newfound freedom, shall we say, to the best of its ability. Uh, which was, which freedom was really... from Victor! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but touching on the ability to have some freedom and public perception, we we were talking before about some Atarashi Gakko. And also, I was just talking to you before we recorded about the them reaching out to the community and doing quizzes next and... video next video all right we're gonna we're gonna start oh, that video i've been um, i've been to i've been told off here i am segwaying segwaying well there you go 
guys, that's something that's something you're gonna have to look forward to, unfortunately. <laughs> Dude, we 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 just did a video where we talked about copyright, family, and about Gakrick Spin. I'm gonna have to put chapters in this video. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. And this is where you stop me. Fuck you. Yeah. Free hashtag free neon. <laughs> Being restrained so, from the label that is back here. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this at home just so you know uh the atarashi gakko video we're gonna do that because there's a couple of things that neon's been telling about i haven't seen him yet he's gonna show them to me nothing perverse pretty sure of that i hope um so uh i need a chance to go through that with him and then we're gonna pop that video out you'll probably even see it like a day or two after this one comes out so stay tuned the atarashi gakko related video is coming but um yeah we're gonna we're gonna wind this one up now and then we're gonna talk about atarashi gakko and we'll post that video in the next couple of days so until then, until we do that, remember to keep your ears, ears to, to the, the east. east. I think what the, the right fuck way. are you doing, Neon? Point in one direction. What's God? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. Fucking okay, hell! You are not Usain Bolt, <laughs> despite my many thoughts that you might be. You know, you, you know what? You know what? The, you know what the weird thing is? I'm probably pointing either south or north, actually, in in real life at the minute. So I, I should be like, don't. <laughs> don't ruin the illusion <laughs> don't ruin the illusion alright guys see you All later right. catch see you guys later time.